Back in Excel Magic Trick 1777, Prasanta asked, how do I use a dynamic array in the sum ifs function? Now the goal inside of the sum ifs function is to look up the column based on the month number. And once we have that dynamic column, we want to ask the question, hey, how many numbers are greater than 45? Now, as we saw last video, there's a few different ways to do this. Choose columns. There's the array we want to choose from. And we want a dynamic column number. So we use X match, which looks up a particular item and reports the position. Right now, it reports 1. And choose columns gets the correct column. We also learned the XLOOKUP method, lookup value, comma, Look up array. This is horizontal with four possibilities, column 1, 2, 3, or 4, comma, and return array. Once we enter more than one row into this argument, XLOOKUP will know to return all the rows. So when it finds January, it returns the correct column. Now I want to copy both of these in edit mode. And I'm going to use the keyboard Control cc which will open the clipboard, Control cc if that didn't work, open the clipboard right there, Options, and check this. Once it's open and I want to copy this, I just Control C. The advantage of the clipboard is I can load up as many pieces as I want and use them throughout the spreadsheet. Now, the original question said he was trying choose columns, but it wouldn't work inside of some ifs. And there's a difference between Choose columns, which will not work, and XLOOKUP, which will work. Choose column actually delivers an array. Excel considers this an array object. Internally for XLOOKUP and the index function, if you're going real old school, those are considered range objects. So let's just see what happens when we put choose columns into some ifs, some range. I'm going to put choose column comma, criteria range, same thing, comma. Criteria, our comparative operator needs to be in double quotes, and we have to join it to the 45. Now, when I close parentheses and hit Enter, we've been getting this error for decades with sum ifs and count ifs, and in the way back with the sum if and count if function without the s. The message here is totally useless. What it should say is arrays are not allowed in the range arguments of sum ifs and count ifs. But that's not what it says. Let's x that out. I'm going to select some range, so I choose the whole choose columns. Then we're going to put an x lookup, criteria range, selected, x lookup. And of course, now when I hit Enter, well, I get a 0, F2, because that is supposed to be a greater than. Control Enter, and sure enough, that range object has no problem. Now, here's the thing, sum ifs. That's exactly what you do if you have a different range you want to sum than the criteria range you're comparing against. But if they're the actual same range, you don't use sum ifs. Sum if has a couple of hidden tricks. And one of them is, if the sum range is actually the criteria range, you put it in just once. So we're going to put an x lookup, and then sum if, once we give it the condition, it'll know to both use that to sum and to check for which ones to sum. And that's our formula for a dynamic range. When I enter, we get the correct answer. Now, if you're going to go real old school, that means you don't have x lookup or choose columns, which are only in Microsoft 365. No problem. Index has been around forever. We actually put the whole array, and in row number, as we learned last video, you put a 0 or leave it empty. And that tells index, please get all the rows. And then you use match, the old school match. And when I hit Enter, that will work. Now, what I don't want to do is build this logic here. This is doing direct array operations. That means there's an operator directly against the range. And in this formula, there are four operators. And this just takes a lot longer than the sum ifs and count ifs functions. So although this will work, probably don't want to do it that way. The winner is clearly xlookup.
if you have two different ranges, one for summing and one for conditions, you just use two X lookups to get your dynamic range. Now here's your bonus over on the sheet 1835 part two. If you use sum if and you're looking up a row, X lookup works. Index works like a charm too. But uh-oh, the dynamic spilled array functions like filter, we're going to get that error. And as much as we'd like to use choose rows, same thing. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.